Hey everybody, I'm going to do a quick video here on the uh, HU-108 cut. Uh, this is a Chevrolet lock. I don't remember what car, but it's an 8-cut uh, HU-100. already made a key to it. And the purpose of this video here is kind of want to show you some uh, tips here. And this applies to pretty much all leashy tools. Uh, if you have the deepest cut in a lock system, whether it's a 4 or 5 or on, you know, Schlage, a 9 or a quick set of 6, you don't have to pick that position because the tool sets that automatically. And of course, you don't know that going in, so you have to kind of develop a feel for it. But uh, so here's the bidding on this particular lock. We got four cuts on four, five, and seven. So this lock will actually open without having to touch those positions. And I'm going to demonstrate that right now here. So we got the tool in there. Let me zoom in. All right, so, okay, so I picked number one, three, skipping five, skipping seven, go to two, okay, two's not binding, we're going to skip four, go to six, eight, okay, it's binding, so now, All right, see, the lock is open, and I didn't touch four, five, or seven. And we got the lock open here, so I'm going to do it again here. Yeah, so just go even numbers first. So we're going to pick position two. We'll skip four, six. Eight, and then we'll just go, you know, we don't need five or seven, so we'll just... Go to three. Three is actually not binding, so we'll skip three. Go and hit number one, and it actually opened. So basically, just uh, little tips here with all leashy tools. Here I can show you two. You can read this here. That number uh, number four is a four cut, and five and seven. See so they're number fours, and so you don't have to pick them. And if you're going through the lock, you know, like you know, if I didn't already know the bidding to it. You know, I'd probably, you know, I'd hit two, I'd go to four. You know, not binding at all. You know, five, it's not springing much, but there is spring there. And if there's any spring at all, you just want to leave it alone. You know, only want to pick the ones that are actually binding. So even to go back to four here, it doesn't have much movement, but there is movement. So you definitely want to just leave it alone. Show you on five again here. It's not a lot of movement, but there is a tiny bit of spring, so you just skip it. Same thing with seven. And it should just be one holding us up here. And it's number eight. And we're open again. So just a little uh, tip here with leashy tools about when you have the you know the deepest cuts in a lock system, how you normally do not have to pick them. And if you do, you're going to end up oversetting them here. So it just helps to, uh, you know, if you have a lock that you know the bidding on, so you can kind of develop a feel for them. So, you, can, you know, you find them in the lock and know what you're looking at in the field. Uh, if you have any questions on this video, you know, put them in the comments. I do try to answer uh, just about everything. And uh, I guess that's really all we got for now. Uh, we will uh, talk to everybody later.